with the uh, angle invokers bluffing property lounge here with you today and again I have my phone flipped around so that this is not backwards but that does throw me off a little bit so sorry if I hiccup a little bit it's easier if I can just see myself in the camera um, but today again you're going to be getting your it seems like we do this on Tuesdays every week so I'm just going to go ahead and call this the Tuesday market snap watch now it'll be on a Wednesday or something next time but in any case I want to give you a little bit of an idea of what's going on in the market so again this is Daniela Squickrow with Engel and Volker coming to you from the Bluffton property lounge in the promenade so quick snap about what's going on today in the low country market that is the Hilton Head MLS 18 new listings uh, ranging ranging anywhere from just under 160 to 1.1 million the most expensive actually being on Defusky Island today uh, drops 36 price drops, and we'll get into that in a second, but that is from, now that's not based on price range. Again, just like last time, this is, we're getting to a point in the season now where people have, they've gone on through the spring, they've kind of tested the market a little bit. If the market did not break a price they wanted, now's the time that they're really dropping to try and still absorb some of those spring buyers. So we're looking again, huge range from $165,000 all the way up to one and a half million dollars, actually just over one and a half million dollars for that listing. So it's a huge range, again, not specific to any particular price point that we're seeing the price drop. Uh, three price hikes, actually, two in the million and over set and one on the opposite end, which I believe it was an under 200,000, and that was a Jasper County listing. And then finally, pendings and sold today. Uh, I think the breakdown was 10 things went under contract and six sold, I may have the backwards, might have been the other way around. Um, but in any case, so a lot of good market activity going on right now. A um, ton of price drops. So I want to focus on this. We talk a lot about pricing, and the reason that we talk a lot about pricing is because it is extremely important. It is the one thing that can determine whether or not you sell your home. So there's a pricing lesson in here today for everybody. And it's very quick, very simple, but it's so important that try and internalize this. Soak it up and internalize it because it is the one thing you've got to know. When you are talking to multiple agents, Choose your agent based on their market knowledge, their experience, their marketing prowess, what they're able to do for you, how far they're able to cast their net to find your buyer. All of those things are appropriate ways to determine which agent you use. What price they promise you is not how you choose an agent. Because what the market tells me is the same thing a market should be telling all the other five agents that you're interviewing. The reason for that is because the market is just a huge set of data. And you can read data in different ways, just like you can read statistics in different ways, but ultimately it will tell you the same thing, which is why appraisals mean anything at all. An appraiser will go in, it might be a little bit different depending on what comp they adjust to and what adjustments they're using, but ultimately it's going to be roughly the same. It's going to be roughly the same idea as far as the market value. And it's even more so with a realtor because they should be giving you a price range as opposed to a price because fair value falls within a range depending on what people are willing and able to pay for any given property in the market. So here's the lesson, okay, without further ado. An unsubstantiated pricing promise is a sales pitch, okay? If your house, according to the market, and I will show you where I get this number. If your house, let's just take an example, is worth, let's say, 650 according to the market. If somebody comes in and says they can give you 800 and you come back to me and say, well, the other agent said they could get me more, no, they can't. No, they cannot. They might be able to get you $5,000 more than what I offered you, but if they can, so can I. And the chances that I can do it are just as good as the chances that they can do it. In fact, with the marketing tools that we have, they're actually better. So this is not a sales pitch for me or my company. What I'm trying to explain to you here, and I get a little passionate about this, as you can tell, but what I'm trying to explain to you is that if that person cannot substantiate the price they're offering to you, it is a sales pitch. You have got to realize that. A lot of agents go in with the assumption that they'll get the listing at whatever price you, the seller, want with the intention of, you know, 30, 60 days later, dropping that price. So they're already going in knowing they'll have to drop the price, whether or not they tell you. So this is something that's really, really important to understand. Pricing is, to some extent, negotiable, but it's not this massive range that you might think. It's actually a pretty tight scale as far as what you're going to be able to expect for your property because there is a ton of data and a ton of precedent to back that up. So it's not a guessing game. There is definitely both an art and a science to pricing a property. But we are seeing here, and that's not necessarily what happened here. It very well may have, but that's not necessarily what happened here. But what we're seeing here is for whatever reason, 36 homes today are more close to the, or closer to the prices that they should have been than they were yesterday. So that tells you something. So this is Daniela Squigaro, getting all freaked out about the importance of proper pricing, but that is something that uh, 
it's really, really important. And if you have any questions on that, if I wasn't clear on anything, uh, I can go on a little bit of a rampage sometimes. So let me know in the comments, or of course you can always call or text 843-707-2777. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.